What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1 Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day, and do not forget to stop by CMPKits.com, get yourself a copy of Drill Loops Volume 2, get yourself a copy of Ski Mask Samples Volume 12, get all of the plug and play midis and get them today. Don't forget to stop by your Spotify account. Please follow the Spicy Sundays podcast updated weekly. Me and MG the future ranking on everybody. And uh, hit me up on, on IG at Craftmaster3 if you have any questions. That is the easiest and fastest way to get a response. Today we are going to be looking at Studio One. Some of these uh, uh, concepts can definitely apply in Ableton Live and FL Studio. Uh, this is routing stuff, but we're going to be using Studio One 5. This is the Studio One 5 video manual, and I'm going to be showing you my basic routing template. Uh, what do I mean by routing? This is how I'm setting up my, um, my buses and my overall signal flow for my send effects on Studio One. And um, this is the reason why it's important and the reason why you should stick around for this video is that this is the basis for every one of my templates. Every one of my templates revolves around this. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. You have a couple different ways that you can create um, tracks in Studio One. My favorite way uh, and the fastest way for me is to right click on this uh, pane on the left hand side and you can see you can add um, different types of tracks. Right. So that's just that's just, that's a quick note to look at uh, the behavior in Studio One. If you look down here, you have we have two separate tracks that Studio One gives us now. It gives us the listen bus, which that's where your your solo stuff and your mix cues are sent. Um, really useful for you know recording a lot of different sources. Um, not so much for using VSTs, but you just want to make sure if you ever have like if you ever have a situation where you're hitting solo and solo isn't working, make sure you have that set to. Um, output left and right okay uh or whatever your main your main output on your on your interface is um the the next thing you want to notice is you have a main bus basically everything is going to be sent to to this bus right um and what do i mean by that uh so what we're going to do is we're going to add some bus channels right and i'm gonna i'm gonna call this one i'm gonna call this one mix bus okay and then you see up here, this this is this is telling us that this mix bus, whatever is going to this fader, is is being is being routed to the main, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to add, is I'm gonna add another bus, right? And this is gonna be called this is gonna be called the drum bus. And every VST that I have um that I have um that's a drum VST is going to be is going to be sent to this bus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this output and I'm going to send this to the mix bus. OK. Now that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bus for my instruments and that's going to be called the band. And I'm going to send that. To the mix bus as well, right? I'm going to create another bus. This is going to be called the filter. Create another one. This one is going to be called the filter bypass. What are the filter and the filter bypass? And actually, what I need to do is I need to send both of these to the filter bus, right? Then the filter bus goes to the mix bus. And then everything, and then this guy goes to the mix bus too, and then everything goes to the main. So let me let me organize this a little bit better, right? This is what it this is what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting audio, even though even though the VSTs are in here, the audios all all my drum VSTs are going to come into the drum bus. Right. And it'll be and, and if I solo this, all I'll hear is the drums. That's the point. Um, if I all of my other VSTs, like my Omnisphere, my loops and everything and everything else, 
um, is going to be sent to the band bus. If I solo this, that's all I'm going to hear. I'm not going to hear the drums. If I solo both of them, I'll hear the whole beat, right? And then these 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 channels will then be sent into the filter bus okay if i solo the filter bus i will hear whatever is on the drum bus and the band bus right boom okay um the point of the filter bypass is uh sometimes sometimes in my tracks i'll use something like stutter edit or i'll use something like looperator or i'll use something like halftime and sometimes i want to apply that to the whole track if if i want to apply that to the whole track I, I'll put that I'll put that effect on the filter bus if I want to if I want to apply it to the whole track but say I don't want the 808 to be affected by halftime or something like that I can then go just to that 808 and select the filter bypass bus and all this stuff will be halftimed but this will be playing in regular time right so that's super super useful um that's why i do that so th so that's that that's my that's my setup and and my routing for buses the other thing that i always use is effect sends right and i usually um i start out with five of them lately okay and what i have is i have a couple different types of reverb so i have a hall reverb that i'll use Okay, and I'll have a plate reverb that I'll use, and then I'll have a spring reverb that I'll use, and then I'll have a uh, an echo delay, which is like which is like a quarter note delay, and then I'll have and then I'll have like a fast delay, right? And I usually I usually take these and I um and I'll make them uh. I'll make these green. That's like a that's like a leftover from when I used to use Logic, right? And this right here, this will be this will be like my basic my basic starting point for any template. And what I do is these effects, I always route these to the band bus, right? So all of these effects will always will always go to the band bus and uh that um and then that'll be piped out again so if so if the effects so if i put halftime you know on the filter bus that'll mean that all the effects will get halftime too because you don't want to you know you don't want to be applying you know big you know big effects like that and then uh and then your delays are in aren't pitched down it'll sound uh sometimes it sounds cool but most of the times you won't like it so what i so what i'll do here is i'll click save a template to save this you know rename it uh i, I call this um I call this mix bus routed, you know, and it's it's I use it a lot if I'm if I'm mixing other people's music because this will pop up and then I'll drag I'll drag their files in, uh, you know, send the drums to the drum bus send the band to the band bus. Um, if, if if there's vocals involved, I'll add I'll add a bus for the vocals. Um, you know, you guys that will see this and be like, hey, what, what do I do if I do vocals? You do this. You just add another bus. You you label it you label it Vox or something and you, you know, you change the color of it and you send it to the mix bus. Right. That's, that's, that's what you do. Right. Um, and then from here, you know, from here you can go ahead and you can go ahead and do what you want, you know, so you could add, you know, you add a uh, eight instrument tracks, right. And say, and say, these are all red, you know, these are, these are my drum, these are my drum tracks. Okay. So, I go ahead and do this. These are these are my drum tracks. Um, let me highlight them. Right. We'll highlight all these. You right click on them and then to make the session more manageable. I, I love this feature pack folder and it'll. It will make you a folder with those tracks in it. You open it up. Those tracks appear. This this command right here. This is where you send it to the drum bus. Boom. And you make it red. So now if you add, you know, say you add some more tracks, you add eight more instrument tracks and you want them. I see for some reason they they went in this folder, highlight them, drag them out. Now you want to make a different folder with these. Um, select pack folder. And send these to the band folder. 
do your colors and then you're good and then this and then this uh, this should look familiar now like if you guys see how my session start up you know i <clears throat> my session usually starts like this and then i go into here and i'm able you know i'm able to get my instruments that's that's the basic workflow that's the basic routing for you know my templates and if you can um if you can get that uh if you can get this uh repetition down um you know you only have to save it once but this will allow you to make different templates for different genres or different arrangements again the save as template function is probably my favorite thing on a studio one so this is cmp with craft master productions studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one